buildings are fine. They're just it's rough. just a little shabby. A thriving business district is key to any town's future. It's what brings businesses and other people to the town. Company Street is supposed to be the center of all that, but Company Street is struggling. Big storefront, no business. This is a super common threat to small town America when the highway diverts a lot of people and businesses away from the town, parts of the town dried up and they never recover. Company Street, I, I hate to say this, but I, I believe it to be one of the least attractive streets I've ever seen. This side is just khaki world. Bland. We need some color. On Company Street, there's a lot of vacant buildings. There's a lot of things that you don't even know what is inside the building, and it's kind of, you know, sad. Back home in Laurel, it felt like once Magnolia Street was brought back to life, that's what really helped Laurel turn the corner. And in the same way, I think that once Company Street is brought back to life, that's what changes everything for downtown Wetumpka. So if we can bring it back to a healthy and thriving downtown central business district. The whole city will feel the impact of that. We're gonna surprise Jenny Stubbs who oversees everything on Company Street. Oh, shoot. I should have eaten it faster. <laughs> hey, yes! Jenny, we're in town. Welcome to Main Street, Wetumpka. I'm Jenny Stubbs and I work as the executive director of Main Street, Wetumpka. I was born and raised here, and counting my children, my family's lived here for nine generations. And as you can imagine, I've, I've seen it go through some phases. I saw it right before it really started going downhill, and I remember those experiences, and that has been a huge motivator in bringing downtown back to life, because I want my own kids to experience that downtown that I remember and love so well. We have been working hard to come up with a plan that will make people at least want to start investing in downtown. Let's talk about some things. This particular part of downtown is older than the rest. This area wasn't quite as navigable for fire trucks and things like that. And, and I think, you know, there's a ripple effect. Is it because of the power lines? Yeah, the city in conjunction with the utility companies rerouted the poles a while ago. So really we just need to remove these decommission poles so the street looks less cluttered. Well, we have a plan. We've right. talked to a lot of your business owners and we know what they all wish it could be. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing we need to do is get rid of what's not working. The wore out, the ugly, you know, the broken. Yeah, and it's all about color. Each business needs some individuality that feels like it's all working together. Yes. And then signage. We need it all to be equally visible. And to top things off, we wanna go across the street with lights. So it's a canopy of light. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I've seen that before. And <laughs> it's wonderful. Let's get started. All right, let's do it. it. Woo! I'm always going to sign up for the pressure washing job because it's super satisfying. You do it for five minutes and it looks totally new. It's a little symbolic of what's happening here. Today is the clean out day. This is where it begins. This is the foundation of rebuilding. We feel like we're a part of the beginning of the new Wetumpka. There's a lot of people that have given up on Company Street. And you guys, you've given a lot of hope to a lot of people. So how long have you been in this spot? Three weeks as of today. Three oh, weeks. Shoot. In the end, you gotta take risks. Yeah. If it gets a little bit of a facelift, then maybe more people will want to be down here. I am really looking forward to a new chapter for Company Street. We're exposing all of this beauty and potential that we knew was there, but it was just covered with mire and dirt and time. And so it's really exciting to see all of this gleaming, you know, all of this uncovering of, of our future, you know, what it's going to be. It's super exciting. Teamwork makes the dream work. Woo! Coming up on Hometown Takeover. Oh my, oh goodness, my gosh! Look at that! Our HGTV friends Steve Ford and Tamara Day are pitching in to help us transform this town. When Ben and Aaron called me, I thought they were out of their minds. Oh my God, I did not expect that. It's a lot of pressure and a lot is on the line to make it perfect. There's only one way to get started. Pick up a paintbrush. 
So this is the first opportunity I've ever had to paint an entire street. This is different from painting houses because I have the homeowner's personality to take into consideration. There is no personality here. This is a vacant building. We are gonna make the personality. So now we swatch it before we lose the light. We really need natural daylight to know which one looks the best. This wall is super textured, so it's really gonna kind of change the way the color looks. Last one. I really like this yellow. It's such a good muted, earthy gold. The blue feels right against that building. I feel honestly kind of intimidated because there's still so much, there's so much to paint. We're gonna need a lot of help to get it done. I hope that it's not just like, well, Aaron and Ben came and they painted a few buildings. I hope that what it does is it instills pride of place. Sometimes it takes an outsider telling you how special the thing you have is for you to realize how special it is. We built a new line, and then these lines have been de-energized for a while now, and this is kind of the final piece of the puzzle. We're taking these poles out and trying to help beautify the city. Yeah, aesthetically, it's going to make a huge difference. It really is. Power lines are one of those things that they're always around, so you just kind of get used to them. But when they come down, you really see how much clutter there is in the air around the space. I would have liked to go up there, but at the same time. I'm totally fine not doing that. Think about it, you gotta really trust the guy that turned it off. Transformer goes Oh, watch out. this, he's cutting it. Oh, jeez. That is amazing! Yeah, it's almost as if these power lines were symbolic of our street being grounded. Like, we just couldn't get off the ground. Oh my, oh my goodness, gosh. look at that! I can't believe it comes out that easy. I know. Right now, it just looks like clutter, and it's gonna be clean and beautiful, and it's gonna make all the storefronts look way better. A few more to go. We're getting there. Now, I've never really renovated an entire street. One thing I know, you gotta get rid of all the dirty old things, including old awnings like this. So we're actually gonna leave the frame because this building is such a beautiful old brick. You don't wanna take this whole frame down and have to drill new holes. Ben and Aaron are gonna be so excited to realize they've already incited change. And you can see the momentum taking shape. It takes all of us. One person can't do it, three people can't do it. That's how it happens. You know, it's like we gotta have a village to make it happen. Hey guys! We have really gotten a ton done and wanted to show you all of this. It looks so good. Doesn't it? Check out this space over here. We even got rented out. Right there. New tenants. It looks awesome, y'all. Way to go. When Ben and Aaron called me, I thought they were out of their minds. Four months to revitalize a town did not seem like enough. But now that I'm here and I see all the love and hard work everybody's putting into this, I know it'll be a success. The world's smallest Park in downtown Wetumpka. Like a big city touch in an old, small downtown. We're ready to reveal a brand new company street to the shop owners. And this was a lot of work. They've all had a hand in transforming this street, so I hope they're really proud. How about this, wow. huh? Wow, look at this. You like Unbelievable. it? Unbelievable, yay! Wow! This is yeah. your street. Are yes. we on the right street? Company Street is open for business. <laughs> oh. I tried to choose colors that wouldn't be too saturated, that would complement each other. They're friendly, but they're not garish. I wanted to have signage that was somehow consistent. New planners with flowers. And then the lights. This helps if there are businesses who want to stay open past five. Y'all made it look like a New city, a new a new place. Yeah, looking at Company Street, I feel like I'm not awake. I feel like I'm still dreaming. I'm so excited you're moving in. Y'all are awesome. I'm just amazed, man. It I never thought it would look this good. I mean, the first couple of years, we kind of wondered why we were here. Yeah. And to see it all come together, that's what's amazing about it. It's definitely given me hope because that first week was great and then I was like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? Yeah. You know what? It was affordable for you to move into and that was a good start. Yep. And now it's gonna get so much better. Yes. To come down here and you know, see the transformation, it is an absolute thrill because even though there were businesses down here, you couldn't even tell that they were open. 
there was a story under these facades. We just had to dig it out. And, and then you guys came and you showed us that our dreams were worth having. You have saved Wetumpka, Alabama. There is no doubt about it. A lot has happened, but that's not all that has to happen. No, this is the beginning. This is the big first step and Wetumpka's all yours. And you have the torch now. Yes. Let's open Company Street. Let's do it. <laughs> What has happened in Wetumpka, Alabama should inspire every small town that has lost hope to rethink it. We're having to pinch ourselves. It feels kind of like a dream. Everybody's so excited and positive about what's going on and what's taking place. Just to be a part of it is so exciting. It's really exciting to think of where Company Street and downtown and, and Wetumpka as a whole are going. We're a small town, but you know, we can be and do big things, you know, the sky's the limit.